What up guys, Seth here. I have not made a video in a, in a couple of weeks now, probably. So, uh, as you're guessing by the title of what I plan to title this video, show me your two favorite swords. Tell me why they're your favorites. <laughs> Obviously, you guys know these swords from my last few videos. These are my favorite. And I have a hard time choosing one or the other depending on my mood. On the left, we have the Kanye Black Wasp, Leather Ito, T10 Steel, and the Kubiza Curry. The polish on the Kanye is, I'm not going to lie, it's better than the Motohara. But uh, there's some differences in the blade and the, and the quality and the overall dimensions and, you know, whatever that make the Motohara just a better sword. Uh, this is also about $4,000 sitting on my table right here. These swords are extremely expensive. This one is extremely rare. I paid a thousand dollars for this used. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't regret it one bit. Kanye did a great job on this. I got it from Paul Kaufman. Great guy. Good, pretty good swordsman. Um, it, he said it was in perfect condition. He did, he wasn't lying. Um, the Scion on this one, just give you guys a little recap on what my sword, my second favorite, like I said, depending on my mood, it looks like, uh, this Scion ha does have the one that if you touch it, it kind of, you know, shows the scuffs, but with this one, I ordered a special leather or synthetic leather Segeo, because I didn't like the one it came with, I don't think it even came with one, but maybe I can't remember. But uh, the Saya fit is not that great. It's, it's not bad, but there's a little bit of wobble down there at the end. Okay. And with that, we're going to kind of conclude my little recap of the Kanye Black Wasp. As you can see, the polish is just very, very good on this sword. It's just, it's a very ex extremely good polish. Uh, it, it's also out of the box sharper as far as grabbing your thumb that not that that really makes a difference uh the profile is a little bit thicker than the um the motohar katana i got now you gotta remember this 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 black wasp i'm sorry the motohar is meant for all targets and you saw how thin that profile was this one's even thinner this is meant for everything that a katana should be cutting through. I'm trying to ease it back onto the table because this is a glass table. Hi Dora. You're late for your cameo. Okay, now with the, the Motohara, the side fits perfect. There's no movement whatsoever. It has one of those, it's like the mass. And I tend to reference that sword a lot, even though I don't really mess with that much. but. When you sheath the sword or you no toe or whatever, anyway, you put the sword back in the side, it's down there on the floor. Um, it starts to get tight right before you get to the habaki, which means that saya is was cut just for that sword because it knows just when to get snug and there's no rattle. I believe these are probably off an assembly line because this was a, a mass produced sword back in the day. These, however, are, I would say, I would say they're semi-custom. Of course, the Ito is a lot better. It has that divided up look rather than the crystallized look you see on most uh, production katana. The Manuki here is pure silver. As is, I believe, this part right here, pure silver. The leather Ito is not as slippery as this is. So to me, this is higher quality leather. Now you gotta figure, there's about $1,500 more uh, in this sword than there is this one. 
now to the naked eye unless you're holding them and you're, and you're actually physically comparing them you know they probably look very very similar I can refocus my phone and also this one has the end knot on the outside okay I like that nothing moves on either piece and for some reason, I don't know why I feel like they should have gone with a a silver hibaki. For some reason, this one kind of flows better with the traditional, you know, gold-looking brass. But I, I wish they would have gone with a, a more silver hibaki on the Motohar. I still love it. It still looks great. Uh, Hamolan polish. It's very good. You can't even tell I did my edge work on this, which I actually did. Um, I stropped it. It still wasn't right where I, you know, right where I wanted it. Uh, so I broke out some low grits, worked it back up. And like I said, the polish on this is very, very good. And you can barely see the little strop line on the end of the ha right there. Uh, both are about the same in the length. I'm trying to be very careful. Like I said, this is a glass table. And, uh, two very similar swords as far as where they look, but they handle completely different. Price tag is totally different. These are my two favorite swords, and I'm sorry to talk you guys' heads off. Oh, and this one did come with a synthetic, it may be real, but I, I think it's real actually. It's a silk, black silk Sega. And as I mentioned in my my little initial opening of this sword, you can see how the other one, you could touch it and it would show the scuff. This one, I have no idea what kind of coating they had on this thing, but you know, I, I'm moving my hand all around and I can't see a smear or anything. So I guess Jason has some tricks up his sleeve. And we'll, we'll see more from that later on. And we'll, and I guess that'll conclude this video. So show me your two favorite swords. It hasn't got to be your two best cutting, your two most expensive, but your two favorite. Those two swords I will never part with. Ever. The one on the left is a grail sword, which is basically, it's a sword I would probably never cut with. It's just for me to own and look at and drool over and have crazy samurai fantasies. Whereas the right one is my new go-to. And the right one costs more, but the left one's harder to find. It's really strange how certain things we own have such similar characteristics but we see them in a different way because to us they came into our life in a different you know, a different way or whatever now if the roles were reversed and the left one was available as much as the right one who knows how i would feel about them but as of right now the left one the black wasp it sits my it sits on my stand i look at it every now and then i make sure it's old maintained and sharp but the one on the right that is my sword. That's the one I cut with now. And uh, I'll be getting some mats and some bottles again. Saved up soon. Already got a couple of 40s ready to go. And hopefully once my store's inventory is over with, you'll see me outside my parents' house cutting out some shit again soon. With that being said, guys, that's almost 10 minutes of me ranting. We will see you next time. Peace.